What up, everybody? So today, I'm gonna do a quick little catch and cook, hopefully. Um, just out here, pan fishing, shallow water, uh, pre-spawn where these fish are coming up right on top of the weeds or in close proximity to the weeds where they are gonna spawn. Gonna use some soft plastics. Try and get a few bluegills, a few crappies. Um, bluegills are pretty nice in here. The crappies are good size as well. Um, but I'm gonna cook them old school. I'm gonna scale them up, chop the head off, gut them, take the fins off, except for the tail fin. Don't take the tail fin off because it's the best eating part, okay? So I'm gonna do that quick. It's probably gonna be my last ice fishing video. We got plenty of ice, you guys. Sitting at 25 inches of ice, and it's like April 8th, 9th today. Winter just hang on. I gotta, I gotta start my spring beaver trapping expedition. When I say spring, sure it's spring, but we're on the ice, so probably trap through the ice, doing some and a little bit of mixture, you know, whatever I can do to catch these beaver. Anyway, it's gonna be nothing super lustrous, but soft plastics and jigs can't beat it. Let's get to it. Going with a little uh, soft plastic here. Who is the fish? Got him. Already, first drop. Oh my gosh, it's a big old. Is that a pumpkin seed? Hybrid. It's a hybrid, isn't it? Whoa, here fella. It's warm out, so we'll let you sit in the snow for a hot second here. I'm pretty sure this is a hybrid. Anybody can confirm this. I don't believe it's a pumpkin seed. Um, I believe that that is a hybrid bluegill. A very hungry one that we are gonna let go. Um, just looking for uh, a few fish to cook up old school. You know what I'm saying? So there's a fit. There's a couple fish coming in. I think up high. Yeah, they are. Crappy this time, I think. Hi. Oh no! A freaking a monster bluegill. Hammered that twitch, minnow. Oof, da. Oh, Mama Sita. Look at that, man. That's got to be a 10 inch fish. There's got to be a 10 inch gill. Letting them go. There we go. Got him. Crappie this time, I think. Gotta be, right? Yes. Hey, that's what we're hoping for. A couple of you guys, and that's a that's a nice one for eating right there. See that guy? Ooh, settle down, home slice. Probably a 11 inch fish, 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. Big old bluegill, right? Yeah, another freaking donkey. 
up high. He was chasing. Did I lose my plastic? Oh no, what's in there? That's a, well, gosh, guess you're not a donkey like the last one. You're probably close to nine inches, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Eight and a half, eight and three quarter. We're gonna keep you. Got him. Right below the ice. Another giant, well, I don't know if it's a giant, but this one, that one's pretty decent sized. Right below the ice. That's a pretty decent sized bluegill. That one's a big old female. Gosh. That male and a female, they're both probably, gosh. That one's probably nine and a quarter, a little bit longer. You know what, we're gonna let them both go. There we go. Oh, turn around there, homie. We'll get other fish to eat. They just look a little big. Maybe they were boyfriend, girlfriend. You know? There we go, that's crappy. Uh-huh. Right? There's the keeper. The keeper says crappy. Yeah. Not too big. Yet not too small. Probably ten and a half, ten and three quarter. Exactly what we were hoping for, ladies and gentlemen. Missed them. Got him. What do we got here? Big old bluegill. Big old bluegill. Nice one. There we go. Nice bluegill. All right. This one is going in the deep fryer. Probably eight and a half inch. All right, everybody. So, obviously, caught some fish. And in order to do these old school, I'm just going to show you here. Got a bluegill. Got some crappies. I actually am bleeding these fish. Hopefully, it works out really good. But... <clears throat> need to get yourself a good scaler or go old school like me um, I do not recommend you do this in the in your house because you can leave scales around but I'm gonna I do a good job of cleaning this up or my wife will murder me so anyway got the fish here if you if you take a large spoon and go right against the, the tail like this see that you can literally peel scales off like it's pretty easy I'm just trying to do it <laughs> control it so I don't go fling them all over the place but you see you can see how I'm doing that there you can see this here now I'll get it up in the light well, that is all the way down to the skin so you want to do the entire fish okay see this The entire fish of the surface that you're going to eat okay so I'm going to scale this up quick and then put your scales in the garbage or whatever you plan on doing with it okay so I've cleaned these guys up now well I've cleaned all the scales up anyway and essentially we're going to cut off this fin and this fin right here okay well so what I'll do is I'll actually put the knife back behind this and you all you have to do is cut that fin a little bit see that 
you gotta be careful because you can't you can't pull the knife this way putting your thumb on the, on the fish just controlling the pressure of the fish it's probably the easiest way to do this You gotta cut this top fin off. There we go. There we go. Top fin is off. Now the bottom fin. You know, I've done, I haven't done this in a long time, but now that I think about it, if I remember it, I think I actually made incisions on the fin. Like this. We're just going for it, guys. Like that. Same thing. That's right. Yeah. Made incisions around the fins. That way they would come right off. Like so. Okay. Then, hopefully, YouTube doesn't get crazy on me. But you just got to cut the head off. Probably a good uh, electric knife might be good for that. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Cut the head off. Chest there. Cut the belly open. Get all the good stuff out of there that you don't want to eat. The guts. Whatever. The eggs. So now... Just gonna wash this thing up, and what I what I like to do, see that I like to make a few slits in the fish right here, that way you can get some seasoning inside the meat there. See that? There we go. And make sure to leave that tail fin on. I'm gonna do the same thing with these crappies over here. Okay, I got one bluegill and four crappies. See other. Got them nice and clean here. Got them all scaled. Took the top fins, the bottom fins. Um, Got to be really careful when you're doing that because you could definitely hurt yourself pretty bad. Um, cut yourself, all the above. So anyway, and then I just made these incisions across the skin where it's nice and soft here. Now you need to get yourself your deep fryer and either put it in whatever your favorite seasoning is I'm going to get my deep fryer heated up here and um, I only do one fish at a time because they're they're pretty large and I want to make sure that they're cooked all the way through alright got my deep fryer here she's a little it's got pretty much fish stuff on it um, I got magic fry here crappies and I'm just gonna drop it in my deep fryer here and I'm gonna drop it in there I'm gonna let it go for about five minutes and this is on 375 all right five minutes has gone by I'm gonna tip this up and away so I don't get a steam burn And I got my deep fried crappy right there. I'm going to let it cool down and we're going to take a look at it. All right, here's my finished product. You can see, made those cuts in here. Allowed that uh, fish to cook a lot better all the way through and get some flavoring in there so what do we got here mm-hmm see that I feel like you get more from the fish when you do it this way I'm not going to get fancy with all my stuff I used out there. You guys saw what I used out there. Kind of explained it right at the beginning there. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys an old school way to cook these fish. Be very careful 
when you're cutting the fins off though um look on youtube i'm sure there's a lot better ways to do it i don't do it a lot anymore so this is how i did it but anyway guys i think my fishing's done i'm gonna start trapping try and catch a few beaver it's kind of tough because by this time last year i was full-blown trapping and we still have a ton of ice so we'll catch a few beaver somehow anyway thanks for watching peace I was angry.